Hello. I have one question and one announcement. The question is, how did a generation brought up by Family Guy in South Park become so goddamn offended by everything? Well, the announcement is that, unfortunately, I won't have time for the ones of you with low IQ. I hope you understand. Welcome to Shaven Butcher. You know, a lot of people wonder why the channel is called Shaven Butcher. So we're shaving today. Uh, we're also having a drink. A shaverage, as it's called. This is La Trappe. Um, French sounding name. It's a Belgian beer. No, it's a Dutch beer. And it's called Le Trappiste. And now this is interesting. Not for a lot of people, but for me. <laughs> because I lived in, uh, in, in Belgium and I was sort of... Um, I wouldn't say brought up, but in, in my young adult age, this has been out of the fridge for a good 40 minutes or so, so that it's not too warm, because that's the worst you can do with a, with a good beer. Cold, sorry, god damn. A, a beer that is too cold doesn't, doesn't smell, doesn't taste enough. The cold takes away the taste. That's why American beer is served in iced glasses. I mean Budweiser and that sort of thing. So this is La Trappe. It's a quadruple, which is, I don't have very often, there's double, which is brown and triple, which is uh, blonde. This is quadruple, so it's, uh, it's amber. It's, it's a bit reddish. Might still be too cold, mind you, but something. Hmm. Wow. Magnificent. It's just right. It's about 12 degrees, maybe. I haven't measured. But that's usually good, and that's usually what, what you aim for. So, we're... Uh, I only have this thing and, and Scott Owl's MK31 and he says stop effing about with it, don't break it, butterfingers, send it over. So we're back to the Feather Artist Club with the super professional blade. So today is uh, oldie but goldie, Soap Commanders and Jorans. It's a spicy, uh, and the, the brush is the, I have this because I just shaved my head. Brush is the Macy Friendship Shaving from Frank, Frank Shaving Synthetic. Good, quick and easy. So we'll, we'll load the brush again with a bit of stuff. Yeah, so Trappist beers. So different school of thoughts, it turns out. I like when there are facts. Is this... Feels like it's gliding. Well, then you get to see the the suntan collection. It's rather small, like most in most Swedish homes <laughs> in November. Um, yeah, so trappist is is, is uh, trappist food, cheese, beer, whatever you have is uh, is made by monks uh, from one or a few different. Uh, groups, orders, whatever it's called, they, most of them or all of them have, <clears throat> have uh, pledged silence. Well, they have a pledge to God and they're silent. They're Catholic monks in France, Belgium, and I guess Holland, Netherlands. So there I learned living in Belgium. Mind you, Belgians can be a bit chauvinist about their food and, and drinks. That there are five Trappist breweries. And they date back from 13, 14, 1500 stuff. Um, same recipe for their cheese or whatever they make and the beer. Original. Crazy. Save for um, modern safety regulations, probably. But five original, and I always mix them up, but you have Chimay, Orval, Rochefort, Westmal, 
and Seng Sixtus, which is West Flateren or something in Dutch. Um, some Belgians admit that La Trappe, which is Dutch, is a Trappist beer. But this started brewing, we started brewing, French monks moved to, to Bra Brabant in, uh, in uh, where is that, it's south I guess, very south of Holland, in 1800 something. Um, and they might have brought the recipe or something. So, so some recognize them as the proper Trappist, but even some Belgians, they hate the, the, the Dutch. At least the French speaking Belgians that I had beer with at that time. So, but I guess this is okay. But I, I googled or I searched on the internet because there are other search engines. And, you know, th there's a Trappist Association which recognizes six Belgian, two Dutch, an Austrian, an English, an American Trappist brewery. So that, that's cute and everything, and it's probably all done by monks and according to the rules, but, but still, you, you can't compare it to, it's looking pretty nice. Let's add, ah, let's add even more water. You can't add, you can't compare it to something that's been made for 700 years by, in the same monastery, by monks who haven't said anything all their life and they just pass on the recipe but this one is this one is sort of kosher so i've had this um, kosher is funny because it's jewish and we're talking about catholic but anyway let's not get into religion shall we i had this trapast La Trappe beer before. I have not had the quadruple. I found this at the Monopoly Sustainbolag, the Monopoly alcohol shop in Sweden. Cost an absolute fortune. And it's, it's lovely. Okay, so some of the best beers in the world list comes to mind and that's so individual. But I would say all of the Trappist beers, at least the Belgians that I've tried, and the, the triple of this I've tried, are fantastic. So maybe, well, I might, might as well not say maybe, I'll just say fact because it's so individual. My best beer in the world is the West Mall triple it's it's to die for it's absolutely spectacular Let's see if we have a yeah we did have a lather drop this is a good soap inexpensive super quality the tub never ends i've had this for five years Well, depends on how many soaps you have and how often you use them. But it's, what is it, six ounces or something? Uh, there's soap everywhere, so I can't see. But there, it's big, so cost per ounce, CDB would be very good. So yeah, and then one atheist. Um, writer, newspaper, journalist wrote that if, if you are an atheist the closest to God you can come and this is take it for what it is in other words nothing serious he said if you don't believe in God if you're an atheist the closest to God you can get is having a chimay bleu that's she made with a blue cap in the sunlight at Grand Place, the big square in Brussels. And I've tried, he's not, he's not wrong by much, that's for sure. Leather drop. One 
one of the best lathers I've made in a while. And see, I, I didn't even try. So that just proves lathering is just pure damn luck. Mind you, the more you practice, the luckier you get. I believe those words were first spoken by Swedish uh, downhill skier, slalom, slalom skier Ingemar Stenmark where he never liked to talk to journalists. He still doesn't. He's on TV all the time. He hates to talk to journalists. It's very funny. He barely says anything. He's just in, he's old now, but he's in competitions of all kinds. And he wins everything. He still does. You know, competitions in anything. But he was fed up with some journalists saying, ah, you were lucky there. He said, yeah, it's funny. The luckier, the more I practice, the luckier I get. He walked away. So, so yeah, and Orval, fantastic. I've been to the, to the monastery, the Abbey, and tried the, the beer. I tried the chief. Did they make more than one beer? I've only had the one. And it's very popular abroad, so... I was visiting my Belgian friends a few years ago, and I said, oh, I miss Orval. We can almost never get it. I said, I get it all the time. We have a really poor selection of beer in the Monopoly stores in Sweden. The governor has Monopoly on selling alcohol. And we always have Orval. She said, that's very unfair. But it's, it's interesting. So of course, you know, it's a, it's a monastery. There is a limitation to how much they can do and somehow they prioritize exports. Weird. Très, très drôle, très étrange. Spoke French for work today. I always enjoy doing that. Ah, you speak French? No, not very well. And I speak, not perfect, but pretty good. Sounds better than it is. Put on a bit of a show, and people, oh, your French is really very good. So I say, no, you are a very good liar. Thank you for lying to me. I'm much more charming in French than any other language. I guess most people are, except for French, maybe. Just kidding. I was invited to a French speaking auction site on Facebook or a group, I guess, the other day. By Fislad. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, something in French. I don't think I even understood it. There's a raffle leap sort of page. mimicking the American raffle, buy, sell, trade sort of sites, but for the European market, and it's in French. So, it's French, it's the best language in, in Europe. I've lived in France too, so, you know, okay, it's me deciding, but if you've lived somewhere, I think you're allowed to make fun of them a little bit. And the French are a little bit like that. I love you guys. I love France, I really do. But you are a little bit like, boof, boof. You speak French? Why not? Why cannot the world speak French? The best language in the world, the language of diplomats. Why, yeah, you should speak French. 
old generation, young generation, very different. But that's, and I'm serious, that's part of the charm. Jesus, I'm bleeding everywhere. I was too finicky. I was doing a straight racer move with, with this and you can't, you, you can't do, you can't buff with this. Well, you can obviously, but see what happens. So apart from knowing how you hold the thing and theoretically which direction you move the thing, be having straight racer experience doesn't really help you when it comes to sh shaving with a chevette. Style racer. It really doesn't. I, I chop myself to pieces if I do, if I, if I use the same movements. I really do. Now, you may all go back and watch the back catalog of my videos, but I haven't had more than two or three weepers with a straight racer for, for years. This thing, I mean, you saw, I hope you saw about two videos ago, I did a quick morning shave with, with this thing, same blade, same everything, and nothing. My memory is poor. But I think I had no or maybe one super little, super small weeper with, uh, which went away just pouring cold water on it. I did focus because I, I, I wanted to do the thing in 10 minutes. I had, a, I had a meeting, I had to look good. And so I was in a rush, but I focused. So the focus is more important than taking your time when it comes to performance and not cutting yourself that's my experience um, taking your time is important when it comes to the pleasure of shaving but in terms of performance it's all focus if you deep down know what you're doing so I was I was not focusing this is it's gonna go away but that's like five in a row just chopping so stupid And this is, I'm going to guess, shave number 10 on the same blade. I don't keep track because I get so many shaves. I get 15 shaves with two to three passes on a feather blade in this. So keeping track is not really, and it's not digital. It's not like one shave, it's terrible and you have to change it. Because I see that with some DE shavers, this is a gradual thing. So, so you shave and you go, ah, it's not perfect, but I'll do one more shave. And you can, or or you don't, depending on where your the time of month it is and where how much of your salary is left. Jeffrey Smith did a great shave today with the Wick Red Prep and a Kismet Blade. He's so skilled. Wow. He's a skilled shaver. He really is. Jeffrey Smith is the yeah, is, is the YouTube name. Been around for a long time. Uh, someone, CVB, probably calls him the, sorry about the faucet, calls him the Bob Ross of shaving. I, en I enjoy his videos a lot. So quick rinse, warm water. There's a bit in the neck, a bit here. There's one in particular that 
Yeah, that's uh, I have a what do you call that? I have a God. I have a a dent. It's not it's not a dent. It's there. I was born like that, or I, I did something. I don't know. That's one I quite often get, and it goes away pretty quickly. You know what? I'm gonna rinse peacefully and add cold water and be right. So we're back. So rinsed, put alum on. My wife had a pee, and now we're back. I told her I was live streaming, so that was that was funny for me. Uh, for two seconds, not for a while now. Where was I going? Um, I can't remember. Okay, aftershave, Aku. Straight from hell. It's the the state. It's not the state, but it's sort of <laughs> communist style state pharmacy. No smell. Almost pure alcohol. Evil. If it wasn't for CDB making fun of people who scream, oh, feels good. It's a bit like being in the sauna at winter and you run outside and you throw yourself into ice water. Someone made a hole in the ice. Very similar to that. So if that's what you want, you go for Aqua. <clears throat> It's interesting. This doesn't go on export, actually. Quite a few people use it. There's more or less no scent uh, with with perfume, so there is a bit of scent. So there's probably is one without perfume there. But it, it smells like, you know, doctor's alcohol sort of thing. Quite interesting, and it just <laughs> kills everything. And there you go. But it's 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 a good product. I think it's pretty cheap. Anyway, if you're interested, let me know. I'll hook you up. Well, I guess I won't if you live far away because there's alcohol in it. And, well, we can try. I was going somewhere, I can't remember. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was the shave. It was a good shave. A bit of blood, but it's healing up now. Such a good shaver. The um, Artist Club thing, such a good soap this thing and we have a bit left such a good beer la trappe maybe a trappist beer maybe not we'll see but uh, santé cheers ah oh, it's nice and warm now Ooh, see you soon have a beautiful rest of the week Thanks for watching. Stay sharp.